Using this form, we are able to convert miles per hour on the treadmill at a 0% incline into the equivalent met value. So up here, if we are walking, now walking generally is considered up to 4 miles per hour. There's a bit of a gray area between 4, 4.5, where you could be walking, you could be sort of semi-jogging, but um, true walking speeds will be up to about 4, or just over 4 miles per hour. If you are running, then uh, 5 miles per hour upwards, then you would use a slightly different calculation as there's more energy required. So there is a gray area here, so if somebody was 6 foot, then they might be able to quite easily stride out at 4.5 miles per hour walking, whereas if somebody was 5 foot, then they probably find that their stride length was insufficient to keep up a walking pace at 4.5 miles per hour. We can use the single equation at the top or we can simply use this chart at the bottom which gives you a whole range of different miles per hour. If I use the chart at the top then let's say I was walking at 3.2 miles per hour that gives me the equivalent met value of 3.4. If I was running, let's say running at 8 miles per hour, then the met value there is 13.2. And I can put in any speed here in miles per hour and get the equivalent met value very quickly. Or I can use this chart at the bottom, which shows averages 3, 3.54, walking, and then going into running now, going all the way down to the faster running speeds and their equivalent met level. One of the uses of this chart would be if you were doing a fitness test, for example, and you wanted to do the met levels at different speeds on the treadmill, then you would be able to use this to calculate the equivalent mets if the treadmill did not have the mets on the dashboard.